Okay, we, uh, we're bringing people in. The people are still coming in. The rain hasn't stopped for three days now, so just brought these ladies in. Uh, how are you doing? Okay. And the babies are soaking wet. Okay. Oh, you're beautiful. Is that nice? Is it? <laughs> is that nice? It is, I bet you. <laughs> so, at the moment, uh, we're down uh, at Oasis. Um, there is water and stuff down here for the people. We've got buses coming in um, to pick them up for here. We're just bringing them off the dirt track. The dirt track's almost finished. It's uh, three days of rain. There's, there's rivers running across it. There are two fjords down in Lepetamos. I managed to get the car through one, couldn't get it through the other one. So I had to wade through the other one, come back. I got a lift going across to a boat. We brought the boat in, then I had to wade back. I couldn't get a lift back. So, um, so the people here, they're, you know, we get them into Oxy, and hopefully there's room in Oxy for them to, to get them in the dry. Um, we're doing the best we can. You know, there, there isn't enough... Uh... Sorry, sir. Can I uh, use the table, please? Thank you very much. So, um, <coughs> we're doing the best we can. Um, there's not enough tents. Last night, well, the last three nights in Oxy, um, there are there's people who've been sleeping outside. Um, let me just come in here a little bit. Mind yourself. Okay. There have been people outside sleeping uh, under the bit of tarpaulin, but in Moria they they had to tear gas people today because there was fighting there this morning. There's a lot of people sleeping under trees and stuff and in mud and everything for three days. Uh, as I've been shouting for months and months and months, you know, the winter is coming in now, and we don't have the facilities here at all. Um, so, you know, people are suffering even more. People are having to stay in the wet and the cold day in, day out. You know, the UN should step up and the aid agency should step up. UNHCR should step up a bit. Uh, yesterday, they closed the camp at the UNHCR in the morning. It's closed all day and women, children, everything was soaking wet. They had to walk up the hill and try and get to Maddie Mados. So we took as many people as we could in cars and everything else. Um, you know, I did speak to the person later on, and hopefully this will never happen again. Um, and they did open it about 8 o'clock last night, 8.30 last night. So, you know, but we really, really need more camping facilities, tents, etc., etc. Um, the UNHCR did promise me the day the High Commissioner arrived here uh, that I could have tents all along the beaches. They gave me someone's phone number to be, they introduced me. They said keep in contact with him and everything else. But she's literally refusing to answer our emails now. So they don't want to give us tents, obviously. Um, you know, this is wrong. You know, I don't think people around the world realise that when the UNACR said this is their camp and this is their camp, what they do, they put a tent up. They do not give clothing. They do not give food. They do not give water. And everyone, most people in the camp are volunteers. Uh, all they do is put a tent up or two or three tents on one site. And then they plaster everything else with the UNHCR label. This is wrong. You know, volunteers shouldn't be able to look after this situation. We need more help. And I've been shouting and shouting and shouting. And this is very, very fucking wrong. Yeah? You know, the UNHCR promised me that I could have tents anywhere I like on the beaches. Now it's urgent, you know. There's people coming in in high waves and stuff and people falling in the water and we really need places to put them immediately. Now, I did say it was urgent when I spoke to them, but obviously they don't want to speak to me anymore. Or the person they put me in charge of, of to speak to me, didn't want to speak to me. This is bloody wrong. Just because the UNACI High Commissioner was there, promising me this and not delivering is very, very wrong. You are the UNACI. You're meant to be here for the refugees. Huh? Now, the amount of money you spent here is next to zero. You know, I'd like to know the amount of money you've got from governments and from people around the world to cover this situation. Huh? When you see people out in the wet sleeping and everything else under trees and in mud and everything else and babies and women the same. Huh? 
and you're still not delivering and still not helping, that's disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. You know, we're in Europe here, we need help. Right, we will get a bus for these people and we'll get them to Oxy if there's room in Oxy. I know there's not room in Moria. I know hundreds and hundreds and hundreds are sleeping under trees and stuff. Um, you know, but we do need the facilities. We need more tents. We need more tents in sites to put people. It's only going to be a matter of time now that it's going to swing around to the northeast and the wind's going to come in and then we've got a major problem. If you look at the children I've seen today with their teeth shaking and everything else, you know, uh, and crying and screaming because they're so cold and their whole body shaking. Yeah. And the money is there. This is the sick part about it. The money is there. And these people in a few days when the north wind turns in, we're going to lose people out here. And a lot of people. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to shut this one down.